What's up guys, welcome back. So look, today I'm going to talk to you guys about taking off your clothes, getting butt ass naked. Seriously though. All right, we're gonna talk about taking off our clothes, showing some skin, putting some real life skin in the game, okay? And what I mean by that is look, if we look to the past, people that were creative were sculpting marble into statues that had perfect bodies. They were sculpting this immense, beautiful sculpture that was supposed to represent the pinnacle of beauty. Nature at its highest peak of excellence. And that was the human body with strong muscles in the nude or hardly covered. When you decide to settle on the journey of building your body, something happens in your mind, okay? Something totally switches. You start looking at the world in a new way because now you realize that you have c control over this thing and you can sculpt it. Arnold talked about this. He was like, you need more delts? I, I, I do some front raises and I paint them on. Okay, need more bicep peaks? I'm gonna do a little bit more of the barbell curl. I'm gonna focus on the squeeze. It's not a, a meathead thing. It's a, it's a focus on creating your body into this beautiful piece of work. It's literally one of the best things that you can do and it gives your life purpose. Okay, I can't stress it enough. There's an abundance of other effects that I've talked about. The spillover effect from working out, but setting out on the journey to create a masterpiece of yourself and, uh, and then actually to be able to show it not only feels amazing for your confidence, but it inspires those around you. And if it doesn't inspire them, it shows you, you know, here's going to be a, a really, really honest thing that I've noticed. Usually people in the world generally that are ugly and don't have beauty in their lives, pay attention to what I'm saying. People in the world that don't have beauty in their lives tend to tear apart people that love what is beautiful. And these same people are the ones that are perverse in ways, in ways they hide, they're addicted to porn. They're the ones that sit on Instagram and they like all these girls' pictures and they leave all these comments. But when it comes to their real life, they don't have time to work out. They just like to pick apart people. Oh, you're a meathead. Steroids. No, man, this should be a pursuit of every man. Okay? You should not let yourself become weak and brittle. You should not let yourself be lazy and, and be one with the couch. You should get up. You should start to sculpt your body and be something great. Become what a god would be if he was walking here on earth. That's what you need to become. The ugliest people, and I'm not saying just how your face looks. But the people that it, that don't care about their body are usually the ones that will tear you down. Okay, so you gotta stay away from them. Now, what I'm saying is to actually take off some clothes, man. And we're gonna hit on some insecurities here. Take off the clothes, put it in the light. If you already have sculpted in your body, well, then you should be. It's summertime. You should be out here getting some sun. You know, roll up the sleeves, go outside, take your shirt off, get some of them sweet baby rays. That vitamin D. It's gonna make you feel really good okay and uh it's gonna make other people have to step their game up really put some skin in the game get out here um even girls girls can do this your your beauty i like you can you don't gotta be uh hoish in the way that you dress but you can dress in a way that shows the curves and is just like feels really good and People are, are like you have so much power. If you're a beautiful girl, you have a youthful glow and a suppleness about you, you better be using that to your advantage. I'm just telling you right now, if you're not, well then you're letting a lot of your power go. And I know a lot of the you know the Muslim guys or guy, you know, conservative Christians, oh put your clothes on. No, man. Alright, be be the light. You don't gotta be butt ass naked going outside, but I'm saying show off them hard earned gains. And I'll tell you what is for a long time, I had insecurities about my calves. 
and my legs. And so what I did was cover them up for about 10 years, man. 10 years. I wore joggers, sweatpants, covering them up. Oh, okay, I'll, all right, Arnold had small calves. I'll do it too. I'll, I'll work them out. I would cover them up. Eventually, you know, nothing happened. They weren't growing. You know why? Because I couldn't see them. What you can see, you either begin to hate because of its ugliness and you decide to change. If you can't see it, you leave it. What do we do with dirt? When we're lazy, we sweep it under the rug. What do we do with the junk? We put it under the bed. All right, you got to peel back the layer and actually see the ugliness and see that you can fix things up. You know, the guys that are balding and they, they have a few wisps of hair left, shave it off, dude. You know, see the bald head under there. Become the one punch man. Become the Jason Statham. Guys that are short, you're not going to grow any taller. You're, you're damn 25. You're praying for an inch. Guys, most of you are not, you're like 5'8", average male high. I think it's even less than that. What can you do? Focus on the other things. Stop complaining about your height. It's not going to change. Okay? It's not going to change. A lot of the insecurities that we have, you know, can be improved upon. But we're hiding from them. And we're not embracing them. The moment that you decide, the crazy thing is, and when I started wearing shorts again, I could actually... I started making the best improvements on my legs. Not huge. Still got some catching up to do. You know, a lot of, in the beginning, I was doing mostly biceps and chest. But now I can see them. And more than ever, I'm doing them. I'm doing them like three times a week now. Before, I was just like, all right, I'll do them. I'll skip it. I'll do them next time. I didn't get that mind-muscle connection. It was, one of the, it was one of the best things. Starting to wear shorts, I can't even tell you. One of the best things for my confidence. I was no longer hiding from an insecurity of mine. I was embracing it, stepping into the light, putting skin in the game, showing it to the world. Now I have to take responsibility. I can no longer run from it. I got to improve upon. I got to become better each day. Okay? And that's what it's all about. Is not being afraid, not hiding yourself away and judging the rest of the world. Put some skin in the game, dude. Show yourself off. If you're fat and you want to lose some weight... You know what I would say? Take your shirt off in your house. Walk around in your boxer. See the ugliness. When you walk in the mirror, see the ugliness. See what you despise. You don't like it. It'll cause you to change. It'll cause you to lose some weight. It'll cause you to start eating in a deficit. It'll cause you to question even for a second. Wow, should I be having this bag of cookies? Should I be doing this? It'll just change your the way you think. Because you can't run from it, man. You got to let the insecurity out. And then you got to embrace it and change it. And then every day you can improve upon every day. There's going to be difficulty and that lets you progress. And when there's not difficulty, you know that you're staying the same. Okay. You know that you're just staying stagnant and mediocre. So we got to get out of that. We got to break free from her insecurities. And there's uh, you know, I don't think there's anything better than being able to bring that to the world and show it to the world. And so that should be, if you have nothing else going for you, get your body strong, get yourself together, start working out, even if it's just doing push-ups when you wake up in the morning, do some push-ups, do some pull-ups, start walking more, start moving more. You need 10K steps a day at least, okay? You need to get sleep. If you're not feeling like you have that same energy in the gym, this happened to me for a while, you got to make sure that you're eating enough calories. Some of you guys are skinny, you need to gain weight. Nothing's happening. The needle's not moving forward. you got to eat more calories, Okay, think, look at what you're eating on a daily basis. Are the carbs enough to fuel your workout? For me, I don't think I was getting enough protein. Believe it or not, I got a protein shake a nice way. And uh, my workouts have been so much better. There's been more oomph to that. My recovery, quicker. My mental preparedness, I'm ready. I'm like, I'm recovering better, man. I Something's changed. And speak about the amino acids like i think it's l tyrosine it's literally like i feel happier just by taking whey protein a simple source of protein that's cost effective when you look at it in a bulk okay for the guys trying to lose weight cook at home simple as that limit going out to eat once a week i guarantee you'll lose weight it's always healthier when you decide to cook for yourself you know what you're putting into your body and uh you, you're not getting all the junk from fast food start cooking for yourself 
Number one thing, don't try to count calories right, right away. Don't try to go on a keto diet or do this. Just cook at home and you'll lose weight. Okay, cook for yourself. Another skill that modern men need and is uh, very, very fulfilling. Another thing that I recommend is fasting. I know I'm, I'm kind of going all over the place here, but this stuff has really changed my life. It made my life just better, more enjoyable. I fast till around uh, 2, 3 o'clock. I have a cup of coffee in the morning, black. I go train. I come back around 2, you know, and then I'm, I'm 3, you know, whenever, and uh, have a protein shake. And then I'll eat a meal within a window. Intermittent fasting, if you don't know what it is, look it up. I usually fast 16 hours a day. Go to bed and wake up, fast for the morning and until the afternoon, and then I eat a big meal, one, two meals a day. And I feel better than ever. It's easy to lose weight. I'm cooking for myself. I feel freaking phenomenal. It puts everything in order, and fasting unlocks this primal part of, of, of you that, man, when you're fasted, you're in a clear state, dude. You can hear stuff. You can think clearer. Anxieties that you had go away because there's nothing in your stomach, okay? So try it out. Protein shake again really helped me, and, uh, you know, training's been good. I just want to tell you guys that. Just take some clothes off, all right? Get in the sun. Let Inspire other people. Inspire the people that need it most. If you got insecurities, stop running from them. See the ugliness and then go in and crush it, change it, and move on. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.